Hi everyone, welcome again. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at various ways we can load different data types into a data frame uh, using pandas. Uh, the first thing we do is we import pandas library and assign it to an alias called pd. So we have different uh, data types that you can import into Python from your local computer or local drive so there are two ways you can either specify the path the actual path and hard code it or you can save the data set in your working directory and just call the data so in this case the first thing you're going to do is to read or load csv data into a data frame and to do that we normally use a, a function from pandas library called read underscore csv and then we specify the path so in this case we are using read underscore csv and then we we specify the path where the csv file is saved and then we can display the first five rows as well as the dimension of that data frame that you've just read so i can go ahead and execute so we see that we have a, a file with five columns and 34,110 rows. And this uh, just a snapshot of the first five rows. So that's basically it, how to read CSV file. The next kind of file that you can uh, load into a data frame is an Excel file. And remember, an Excel file might have different Excel sheets. So you, you need to specify the sheet name that you want to read. So for you to achieve that, we can use this code. And in this case, we are reading um, an Excel file called global superstore and it's a dot .xlsx and the sheet name is order. And just as an upshot of the first five rows, we use data frame dot head to display to display the first five rows and we can check the shape by simply calling your our data frame and we use the shape to return the dimensions so executing this we get we get this so basically we have quite a number of uh, columns to be specific we have 24 columns and 51290 rows in that uh, data frame and as you can see it's uh, just easy as that so the key to remember is that you're supposed to specify the sheet name that you want to load into a data frame the next uh, file we can read is a, a json file so to read a json file we use read underscore json uh, function from pandas to do that so basically we have a nobel prizes dot json file and after reading it after loading it into uh, a data frame we need to see the first five rows and the shape executing this we get uh, basically we have one column and 664 rows and for each row is basically um a dictionary and we have here 220 uh 22 2022 category is chemistry and maybe i don't know i'm not so sure this what this is but basically it's uh, just a category and that's basically how you can read a json file using that function and then the next uh, kind of file we can load into a data frame is a sas file or a sas data set and to load it we use a read underscore sas uh, function from pandas and basically all you need to do is uh, say pd standing for pandas read underscore sas and then you specify the file the file path including the file itself and its ex extension the extension is uh, indicates that it's a sas file 
and we can check the first five rows and the shape. So executing this, we see that is the same data set that we had checked earlier for the CSV. Um, so we see that we have 34,110 rows and five columns. And the next kind of data set we can read is um, uh, HTML data into a data frame. In this case, uh, this uh, a good example is just a web page with various data sets or tables. And you want to read just one table at a time. So you need to specify, after reading the data frame, we need to specify which table you want to read. And how to do that, we first read the data, uh, the HTML file as a data frame. And then we specify which table by simply using indexing. In this case, we, we get the index zero. Basically, you're getting the first table in that uh, HTML file. And we can get the first five rows and the shape. So executing this, we see that we have a data frame with nine columns, uh, nine rows and four columns. So that's basically how you can read uh, a table from HTML file. And the next kind of data we, we can read is uh, SATA data, SATA. So in this case, we just do the same thing, but we use the function called read underscore starter from pandas. So in this case, we see that uh, we have a file called Nepal aid.dta. That's basically um, a starter data. And we want to see uh, the first five rows or display the first five rows and check the shape just to, uh, to know what the dimension. So executing this, we get uh, a file with or a data frame with 75 rows and four columns. And this is a snapshot of the first five rows. And this is basically it for this demonstration. But remember, these are not the only things, uh, the only formats that you can load into a data frame using pandas. We have others. And to do, I can show you how to get them. So you say PD standing for pandas dot and then you start typing the word read and then you hit tab on your keyboard it will simply show you everything that you can read all these are functions showing you which kind of uh, data formats you can read in this case you have clipboard csv all the way html json awk pickle sas spss sql so basically you can actually get data load data from a database and you can also re read a table xml files all those things and that's basically a short uh, tutorial on how you can load various data sets into uh, into a data frame using pandas and thank you for watching see you in the next video and remember to subscribe like and share my videos and also do remember to comment uh, in case you have any question, just comment. And also you can tell me how you found the, the tutorial. Thank you and see you in the next video.